Hello and welcome to my channel. In this video, we are going to solve the 34th question from CBSC class 10, 2023-24. Additional practice questions for mathematics standard with subject code 041. Section D where each question is of 5 marks. Now this question also has an OR question. So we will be discussing both the questions in the same video. Now this question belongs to the surface area and volumes chapter. Two rectangular sheets of dimensions 45 cm by 155 cm are folded to make hollow right circular cylindrical pipes such that there is exactly 1 cm overlap when sticking the ends of the sheet. Sheet 1 is folded along its length while sheet 2 is folded along its width. That is, the top edge of the sheet is joined with its bottom edge in both the sheets as depicted by the arrow in the figure below. Both pipes are closed on both ends to form cylinders. Find the difference in curved surface areas of the two cylinders. Find the ratio of volumes of the two cylinders formed and show your work. So let us try to understand the question first. Now they have given that there are two rectangular sheets and they are identical. That is they have the same dimensions that is 45 cm by 155 cm. Only the orientation is different. Now we are going to fold it in such a way that the top end of this rectangle is folded and it comes and touches the bottom end of the sheet. So we are going to roll it this way as given over here. Same thing we are going to repeat it with the sheet 2. That is the top edge of this rectangle, we are going to roll it in such a way that it comes and touches the bottom edge of this rectangle. So we are going to roll it this way again. And the next thing they have given is, there is a kind of overlap of 1 cm when you are rolling the sheets. So we have to find out what is the difference between the curved surface areas of the two cylinders. So let us start with the first one now. Now this is the first part of the question that is the difference in the curved surface areas of the two cylinders. And I have redrawn the two sheets and I have shown here in the below diagram that is how the rectangular sheet looks when it has been rolled into the form of cylinder. So this is how it looks. Same thing is being repeated for the sheet 2 as well. Now here the purple region as you can see which I have shaded is the 1 cm overlap when you roll the sheets. Now this overlapping area is in the form of a rectangle as we can see. So here the length of this rectangle is nothing but this 155 cm. So let me write here 155 and the width of this rectangle is going to be the 1 cm overlap. So width is 1. So the area of this rectangle is going to be length that is 155 times the width which is 1. So here the overlap region or the overlap area is going to be 155 cm square. Similarly, let us find out the area of this overlap region in the second sheet. So here the length of the sheet is 45 cm. So here let us take the length is 45 and again the overlap is for 1 cm. So again this looks like a rectangle. So the shaded region is the overlapped region and it is a rectangle. So area of rectangle is length which is 45 times the width which is 1. So it is going to be 45 centimeter square. We are talking about the purple regions that is the overlap regions. Now to find the difference between the curved surface area that is this curved surface area over here and this curved surface area that is the remaining region if we leave the overlap region. So that is nothing but the difference between the overlapping regions. So instead of finding the curved surface area of these two cylinders, we can directly find the difference between the two overlapping regions. So we can write here. So the difference between the curved surface areas of sheet 1 and sheet 2 is nothing but the difference between the areas of the overlapping regions. Now here for sheet 1 we have the overlapping area as 155 minus area of the second overlapping region in sheet 2 which is 45 centimeter square. So this is going to give us 110 centimeter square. 
So, this is the difference between the curved surface areas of sheet 1 and sheet 2. Now, let us look at the second sub question that is to find the ratio of the volumes of the two cylinders formed and we have to use the value of pi as 22 over 7. Ratios of the volumes of the two cylinders. Now, here I have redrawn the same figure. Now, before we proceed, we need to know the volume of the cylinder formula. And here it is given as pi r square h. So, r is the radius of the cylinder and h is nothing but the length or the height of the cylinder. Now, here we have to find out the radius and height of both the cylinders. So, let us find out the radius of each cylinder first. Now, to find the radius of the first cylinder, we have to make use of the circumference of the circle formula. So, circumference of the circle is given as 2 pi r. As you can see, the width of this rectangle has been changed into a circle. That is the circumference of the circle. And as mentioned in the question, there was an overlap of 1 cm. So, this 45 cm width has got reduced by 1 cm because of this overlap. And the circumference of this circle or this cylinder has become 44 cm. So, to find the radius of this first cylinder, we are going to take the circumference as 44 and this is equal to 2 times pi as it was mentioned we have to take pi as 22 over 7 times r1 this is the radius of the first cylinder we are going to find so here we have 44 times 7 multiplies with 44 so it comes over here divided by 2 times 22 is 44 and it goes and divides the 44 so, it comes over here is equal to R1. Now, 44 from the numerator and 44 from the denominator cancels each other and we get the radius of the first cylinder as 7 cm. So, let us keep it aside. Using the same concept, we are going to find the radius of this second cylinder. So, let me write over here. So, circumference of sheet 2 after overlap is equal to 2 pi R2. Now, let us look over here. Now for the sheet 2, as we can see, this 155 has been rolled up and since there is a 1 cm overlap over here, so the total length reduces by 1. That is 155 now becomes 154 cm and this becomes the circumference of this second cylinder. So let us come over here and substitute. So we have 154 is equal to 2 times again pi is 22 over 7 times r2 so cross multiplying now 7 multiplies with 154 so r2 is equal to 154 times 7 divided by 2 times 22 is 44 so let us simplify this further so, here 44 and 154 go in the table of 11. So, 11 4 times is 44 and 11 14 times is 154 and again 14 and 4 cancels 2 2 times and 2 7 times. So, we have 7 times 7 is 49 over 2. So, this is the radius of the second cylinder. Now, once we have got the radius, we know what are the heights of the cylinder. Height is nothing but the length of the given sheets that is 155 over here and 45 over here so these are the heights then we have to write the ratio of the volumes of the two cylinder so volume of cylinder 1 over volume of cylinder 2 is equal to pi r1 square times h1 over pi r2 square times h2 so let us cancel off the pi's first so pi and pi divides each other R1 we had got it as 7 cm. So, here let us substitute 7 square times the height of the first cylinder is 155. So, this times 155 divided by now the second radius we have is 49 over 2. So, let us write 49 over 2 square times the height of the second cylinder that is it is 45 so let us write here 45 now let me simplify this further so 7 square is 49 
times 155 divided by now 49 over 2 square I am going to split it up and write it as 49 over 2 times 49 over 2 times 45 now here the 2's can be flipped and it can be taken up over there and here 49 divides 49 149 is gone and 45 and 155 go in the table of 5 so 5 9 times is 45 and 5 3 times is 15 and 5 1 times is 5 now taking these 2 on the top we get here 31 times 2 times 2 divided by 49 times 9 now multiplying the numerator we get it as 31 times 4 gives us 124 divided by 49 times 9 gives us 441 so this is the ratio of the volume of cylinder 1 over cylinder 2 now let us move on to the OR question now this is the OR question and the OR question also belongs to the surface areas and volumes chapter Shown below is a cylindrical can placed in a cubical container. How many of these cans can be packed in the container such that no more cans are fitted? And the second question is if the capacity of one can is 539 milliliters, find the internal volume of the cubical container. Show your work and note that to take pi as 22 over 7. Now let us understand the question first. We have been given a cubical container, it is in the form of a cube and inside the cube a can is placed which is in the form of a cylinder. Now here as we can see the height of the cylinder is P centimeter and after we keep this can there is a space left of P centimeter height as well and the diameter of this can is P over 2 centimeter which is given. So here the first question says that how many cans can we place inside the cubicle container in such a way that no more cans can be fit inside. So let us concentrate on the first question. So number of cans that can fit in the container. Now we know that for a cube the height is equal to the length is equal to the width. So all are having the same dimension. And if we look at the height the total height is going to be P plus P. So it is going to be 2p centimeter. Similarly, the length also becomes 2p and width also becomes 2p for a cube. Now after looking at this, we can easily say that one more can can be fit on the height having the height of p centimeter and since here the diameter of the can is p over 2, we can keep on adding the cans till we get a total of 2p. So let us place another can over here having the diameter of P over 2. So this is P over 2. So P over 2 plus P over 2. So we get a total of P here. Now there is still space. Out of 2P we have space for 2 more cans. So this is one more can having the diameter as P over 2. And there is one more can over here which we can place having the diameter of P over 2. So this also totals to so P plus P is 2P. So we can see that across the height we can place 2 cans and along the length we can place 4 cans. Similarly across the width we can place 4 cans that is each having a diameter of P over 2. So let me show over here. So if we look at this the number of cans that can fit in the container is equal to the volume of the cube. So the height is going to be 2 that is 2 cans across the height times 4 cans across the length times 4 cans across the width. So this is going to give us 32 cans. So there can be total of 32 cans which can be fit inside the container. No more than 32 cans can fit inside this. Now let us look at the second part of this question. If the capacity of one can is 539 milliliters, find the internal volume of the cubical container. So we have to find out the volume of this cubical container. Now here I have written that volume of the can is equal to volume of the cylinder because the can is in the shape of the cylinder and volume of the cylinder we know that it is pi r square h. 
so volume of the can is given capacity is nothing but the volume so volume of the can is given as 539 so volume of cylinder or can we will take it as 539 is equal to pi we are going to take it as 22 over 7 and the radius here the diameter of the can is given so radius is half of the diameter so it is going to be p over 4 that is p over 2 divided by 2 gives you p over 4 so p over 4 square is the radius times the height of the can is p now let us simplify this further here we have 22 over 7 and this splits up we get it as p square over 4 square is 16 times p so let us simplify this by taking all the numbers on one side of the equal to sign and keeping the p on the other side so here 7 and 16 multiplies with 539 so we get here 539 times 7 times 16 and 22 divides this number divided by 22 is equal to p square times p gives you p cube now here 22 and 539 can be divided by 11 so 11 2 times is 22 and 11 49 times is 539 and again 2 divide 16 so let me divide it so 2 1 times and 2 8 times so now we have to multiply 49 7 and 8 so we will get p cube is equal to now here we will use a technique where 49 i will write it as 7 times 7 times 7 this is the remaining 7 and this 8 i am going to write it as 2 times 2 times 2 because 2 times 2 times 2 gives you 8 now i am taking the cube on the other side of equal to sign so p is equal to cube root of this number that is 7 times 7 times 7 times 2 times 2 times 2 so this becomes easy now to solve because when you take the cube root you have to make a pair of three numbers if it was a square root you were going to make pair of two numbers so 7 makes a pair of three numbers and 2 also makes a pair of three numbers so they both come out of the cube root as a single number 7 times 2 so this will give us the value of p as 14 so this is p 14 centimeter so we have got the height of the can now here we have to find out the internal volume of the cubicle container so for that let us write down the volume of the cube formula so volume of cubicle container is length times height times width and we have seen that the height is 2p the length is 2p and width is also 2p so let us write over here this is going to be 2p times 2p times 2p and just now we got the value of p which is 14 so we get it as 2 times 14 times 2 times 14 times 2 times 14 that is just by substituting the value of p in this formula so this is going to give us a value of 21,952 cubic centimeter so this is the volume of the cube container so for this question we have made use of the volume of cylinder or volume of can formula and then we have used the volume of cube to find out the value of the volume of cubicle container. I hope you have understood all the steps and liked the video. If you know any other way of solving these examples do comment below. And if you are liking my videos like share and subscribe to my channel and thank you for watching.